Hello, my beautiful friend, and welcome to my channel. I'm Jody, and I'm so excited that you're here today. I'd like to introduce you to uh, Granny Jody. <laughs> I don't know what happens, but it's about this time of year where I pull out my crochet needle or crochet hook and uh, all my yarn, and I start to want to like crochet really cozy things for the fall and winter. And I lovingly call myself Granny Jody because I really do become just this wonderful little granny who loves to just sit around all day and crochet. So I also have thought about wanting to learn to knit. Now, I'm not very good at crocheting. Just last year, I did do a couple of projects that I shared here on my channel. And I'll make sure that I leave a link up above so that way you can see some of the items that I have made. And I found that I was feeling a little successful with some of the things that I made once I learned that I needed to use chunkier yarn as a new crocheter. I would recommend if you're just getting started to go with chunky yarn, like five yarn, you'll see the number on the back, it's called chunky yarn, and use a bigger crochet hook. And you'll be able to see your stitches better and they'll come out clear and if you make a mistake you could see them easier but this year it's I'm kind of surprised so I put down my crochet hook probably sometime after Christmas and I didn't pick it up again until probably a few weeks ago this year for some reason I am able to use thinner yarn and smaller needles or needles I keep calling them needles crochet hooks and I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just that I've become a little bit more comfortable with them or I'm a little bit more patient this year and it's kind of coming out pretty good. So I wanted to make myself a sweater and that's the project that I'm working on right now. This is a combination of a half double crochet stitch and a moss stitch and this is one of the front panels. So I'm working on this and then I already have the big back panel done. Look at your girl. Isn't that pretty? Look at the colors. And it's really so soft. If you hear a little raking in the background, it's my neighbor working on his yard. Let me tell you, upstate New York, when it comes to leaves, we have them everywhere. So I hope you don't mind. But this is the back panel of my sweater and I'm working on that. And if you're interested, if you're a crocheter or a knitter and you're looking for some really soft yarn, I'm using a Karen Cloud Cake in the color Sandbar Dune and Banco de Arena. So this is what I'm using and it's a big round ball that has its own kind of striping on coloring. So if you are a crocheter or a knitter, I highly recommend it because it's really soft. Now with that said, and the fact that I want to learn how to knit, I went to the thrift store just kind of looking for crafts. I went to this one thrift store in Rochester, in the Rochester area, and I knew that they had a really good home section. And so I figured I could go there and try and see if I could find some crochet hooks, some knitting needles, some yarn, anything, books maybe, anything that I could thrift that I could probably put into my stash. Well, your girl hit the jackpot. Let's go to the thrift store right now and you'll get to see just a little bit of footage because I freaked out and then I stopped filming <laughs> because I had to get it because there was somebody else looking at the yarn with me at the same time. But then you'll come back with me, we'll do a haul and then I need to organize my stuff because let me tell you, just like my sweaters, I uh, tend to do that with my craft supplies as well. So today we're going to go thrifting, we're gonna see a haul and we're gonna do some organizing. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like beauty on a budget, looking like a million bucks, but not spending a million bucks, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because this is your channel and I'm your girl. Let's go thrift and then we'll come back and we'll do the haul. This store has a very robust uh, home goods section. So I'm just doing a quick pass through to see what they have. Look at all these CDs. They've got a whole row of books. Let's just see what they have. It's actually kind of cool pillow cover. Actually, it could be a pillow cover. Oh, wow. Look at that coffee mug. That's pretty. It's got a little chippy. Ooh. This is 
exactly what I was coming for. Yarn. I wonder what kind it is. Let's take a look. Now it's dollar day and I looked out with some dollar items. These are not dollar items, but I found some amazing, I've been wanting to learn how to knit. So, you know, for $1.99 coming across some knitting supplies, I think it's worth it. This one does not have a tag on it. I'm sure I'm gonna hear something about that. $1.99 for some knitting stuff. $4.99 for all these. $3.99 for these. And then a couple of these in here are a dollar. This is a dollar. Uh, this is not, but it's got some really great. It's $2.99 for all of this. This has like wool and cotton. $3.99. Look at that. That's pretty. A dollar. A dollar and a dollar <laughs> and this right here is a dollar as well so and that's a dollar so I got some really great items for cheap and little investment to learn how to knit but also to continue my crocheting adventures okay I've organized everything from my haul I showed it to you in the store but I kind of wanted to give you a better look of it outside of the packaging all of this is acrylic, uh, vintage acrylic right here. Look at that. Look at that label. Isn't that awesome? And this is actually really kind of soft for acrylic. I was not, I was kind of surprised about that. This right here came with the label on what it was in its hometown USA. It's Lion Brand, but it's called Bulldogs. So it's the Georgia Bulldogs color, I'm assuming, which is great because that's the uh, same color for my children's high school. So I might make a hat out of that. Some fun fur. And then I don't know what kind of yarn this is. Do you know what kind of yarn this is? But I got this one and I got a little tiny black one. All of uh, this is a chenille. And then all of this is acrylic. And then this is cotton. But this was kind of like the really good get out of all of it. And like I said, I got a lot of this for a dollar in a package full of stuff. So these are cottons. This is cotton as well. I'm not quite sure what this is. Some of this, oh, this is wool. And then this is labeled too. No, is it labeled? I'm not sure. I think it's a cotton or it's very soft. It might be a, a wool. This is wool. This is silk. This is silk as well. And then this is a tweed, but it's a, a, a polished cotton tweed. And then this is acrylic. And all of these, such a great price. And then inside one of the packages, there was this. Now, I don't know what to do with this. I'd love to get your opinion on how to finish this because I'm really not that good at it. I almost would want to do like a, just a solid color and somehow make this bordered in a way to save it. But look at all that work that went into it. I don't know if it was meant to be for a child or what, or but look at the back, ah, a bunch of spaghetti. So this is the yarn portion of the haul. And now I'm gonna show you the needles and uh, crochet hooks and books. And here are all the needles that I thrifted. I could not believe what a great deal it was. Now, yes, I know I'm probably gonna be very new at this and won't need a tenth of these, but I probably got them so cheap that I could have bought one pair and spent that amount of money. So I got some that are on the circular, uh, they're circular needles. And then I have some that are just straight needles. And then I also got a couple of latch hook. These are just regular, um, this is a latch hook um, device. And then this is a regular crochet hook crochet hook here, some uh, crocheting needles. And then I also got quite a few magazines. I mean, I couldn't believe the deal that I got on these. And some of them are knitting, some of them are crochet, but it's kind of fun to look at. 
and get some ideas from there. So I'll be looking at these. These are all vintage. Look how old they are. Oh my gosh, but those, those uh, vests are pretty nice. But yeah, so I got a really good haul for just a few dollars, not much at all. So I'm really excited. Now it's time to get all of my yarn and all of my supplies organized. So my husband's over there and I thrifted these shelves a long time ago and I didn't realize that I still had one in the box. So he's gonna put that together for me so I can put my yarn on it. Thank you, hubby. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, hubby. You're welcome. Okay, now's the time for me to get to work. I have to go out and get all of my yarn and I'm gonna put it on here and then we're gonna organize it. Well, it's clear all of this is not gonna fit on this little shelf. I do have a second one that I put my purses on in my closet downstairs, and I've been meaning to do a purge of some of my purses. So I might just put them in a box and then bring that up here so I could have two shelves. It still won't be enough for this, but I do need to organize it, and I am gonna use some of the bags. Some of these are projects that are in the works. Others are, Oh, well, it's just a bunch of everything. <laughs> uh, I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this mess right here and try to ball up all these extra strings and get those organized first. A little enjoyable project, maybe, possibly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I only did one. And I'm just on to the next thing. I just can't do it. I was thinking about the big mess that's in the you know, middle of the floor here in my studio. So I thought about it and I am going to move this item, this rolling cart. I'm gonna move it out of the way. I'm gonna put it over here for now. I do have uh, another part of my attic. This is, my studio's up in my attic. I have another part of my attic where I do have a lot of circuit clothes that I need to list and get out of the house. Uh, so I'm going to put this rack possibly in there and deal with it another day. But I was thinking about just moving this over here for now and having two racks side to side. Um, it's still not enough to hold everything that I have here, but at least it gives me a little bit more organization and then I could possibly, you know, do something here as well. So I think I'm going to start trying to organize as much as I can like this, and then we'll see where we get from here. So let's try that. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to put some order to this, but I'm also trying to make it so if my dog or my cats get in here, that they're not really interested in anything, but I find it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna have to put basically uh, baskets on the bottom to prevent them from kind of like getting into things. Um, but I'm trying to figure out like what I want to put together. Like I'm putting together acrylic and um, you know I, I see that I have themes I have themes of items but I want to be able to see items as well and that's where I'm having a little bit of trouble because it's like I'm not going to be able to see everything if I put it in boxes but at the same time boxes or bags but at the same time I know that's probably the best way to store them so it doesn't look like messy because uh, not all the colors match not all of the uh, brands match. Some of them don't even have wrappers on them or anything like that. I, I could cake them up, but then I understand that if you cake up items that sometimes they stretch, so you shouldn't cake them up until you're ready to use them. So I don't know. I'm just um, trying to do the best I can for now, and let's just see where we get. Let's go back to some more work.
I really do dream of being one of those people that's uber organized and has their stuff together. And I think that's why I've, over the last couple of videos, really kind of wanted to up my organization game. This is so soft. Um, and because of that, you know, I, I figured I'd take you along with me because you never know, you, you know, you might be in the same position where you're experiencing the same thing. Oh, look at this, this is the beginning of a sweater. Um, you might be in the same position where, you know, you've wanted to do the same thing, but you just haven't done it. So as much as it stresses me out to take on these projects like this, I think I might, you know, be able to be an inspiration for other people who are going through the same thing. They have a lot of items. They don't necessarily uh, don't know how to organize them. I'm not a professional organizer by any stretch of the means, as you can see. <laughs> But I'm having a good time at least sharing my experience with you and, and um, you know, trying to, trying to make it not painful. I'm not going to lie. It probably is. Yeah, this is considered painful. I would rather be sitting down just watching some TV or relaxing. That's something I never do. I wonder, are you like me? Do you never relax? I always seem to have something that I have to do, something that's going on. Let me get this bag. Oh. Something that I just have to get done, and it always prevents me from just chilling out, relaxing. So, I guess you know the best way to do it is work on a project that I don't necessarily want to do, but I'm going to and do it with you. <laughs> so, I want to thank you at least for giving me the uh, energy to get through. I'm putting some like scraps and stuff just in, in a bag over here to deal with later i i know that's probably step one don't do stuff later but <laughs> you know listen i can't do it all rome wasn't built in a day and uh this craft room will not be built in a day either it's just going to be as organized as i can get it and then we'll go from there i would like to get more baskets like this or the other little, um, you know, uh, wicker baskets because I like how things look in them. I just don't know if I want to put this in there. I feel like I want to keep these covered up because they're really fuzzy. And this is with the project. I don't know if I'm going to keep this project, to be honest with you. All right, so I'm going to put these in a covered bin. I have a lot of projects that I start. Are you like that? I start a ton of projects and then I don't finish them or get excited and I want to move on to something else. Well, this Christmas, I'm really committing to trying to make a lot of presents, maybe just like one present per person, just as, you know, a little special thing from me. And I've already done two and I'm probably three quarters of the way through a third. And um, I felt like really accomplished by doing that, but I also started another sweater as you saw earlier in the video, and I probably have three or four other projects <laughs> underway. <laughs> but I actually have watched a lot of crochet videos where um, crocheters and knitters say that they actually do have a lot of projects going at the same time, and that kind of makes them sane almost, and that makes me feel a little better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Tell me what you what you do. Do you do one project at a time or do you like to do a bunch of projects at, at the same time? All right, let me get back to work. The mess is gone, how exciting. Okay, so here's the finished product. I'm not gonna lie, it's not as aesthetically pleasing as, you know, an Instagram <laughs> post or a Pinterest picture, but I'll be honest with the fact that it's 
practical for me. And I can now see my craft supplies, which has been kind of overwhelming. I've, you know, thrifted a lot of these and I've, you know, collected different colors and I just keep adding to my stack of stuff because I don't know what I have, but now I do. So although this is not as aesthetically pleasing as I like, it is very organized for me. And I have all my tools here. Doesn't it just look so much better though? Honestly, I just feel better. Now, this little pile right here, this I have to go through and take those all apart because those are projects that went wrong. And these are projects that I want to finish. Although this one, the heart is kind of messed up on this beautiful heart shirt. And I'm gonna probably have to start that one over, over again. And this is a black sweater that I'm probably gonna have to start over again, but I'm keeping all of the yarn together with those projects. So those are project bags. To be honest with you, I'd like to make beautiful project bags. So I have them nice with the zipper and everything. And maybe that's for another day. I still do need to uh, wind up all of this little bit of mess right here into a ball. And here's the person or the uh, little fur ball that I'm most concerned about. He doesn't get in here by himself, but he is interested in it. Oh, Mr. Pickles. Look at you, you gotta say hi to the camera. Say hi, buddy. He's like, no. He went outside today and he likes going outside so he scraped his face on the, on the uh, cement. So he won't show off his beautiful face right now because he's gonna scratch. Right, Pickles? Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hello, buddy. No, okay. So tell me what you think. Did I do a good enough job? I feel like I did. What can I do to make it look even nicer? I think get some matching baskets, some labels. And you know what? Get to crafting, Jody. Christmas is right around the corner and I could use to lower my stash. So I wanna thank you so, so much for being here with me today, all day, <laughs> as I did a little crafting and then as I did a lot of organizing. Um, it really does mean a lot to me that you do spend the day with me and help me get these big projects done. Oh gosh, I feel so much better. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe because I truly appreciate your support. And we always do a lot of fun thrifting and crafting and just all having a great time together. I love you so, so much. Have a great week. Bye. <laughs>